welcome to the cloud network today i'm going to show you how to install zimra uh, that is your email into personal desktop system computer or laptop to install zimra uh, let me tell, uh, tell you what is zimra uh, zimra this is the version that zimra you are, we are going to install in desktop the 7.2.5 is the latest one and i'm going to install on windows 7 and you can install windows 8 and windows vista also let me tell you what is Zimbra. Zimbra is nothing but that is a client and that you manage your email account uh, from desktop tools. Like you can synchronize your emails from uh, desktop to server. Uh, like uh, not only you can uh, synchronize email, you can configure calendar, contacts, files and documents also from server to your computer. It can manage whenever you are offline means uh, it will be easily will manageable and when it comes to your online means it will automatically reconnect from servers to your uh, computer so that it can uh, synchronize the data all those files and calendars and not only you can configure email personal you can configure your professional also like you can configure yahoo mail gmail microsoft outlook and other types of mail that uses pop or imap that uses uh, the support the Zimbra also and each is maintained separately and secure the Zimbra and let me tell you about this requirement uh, you need to have a if you are installing Windows 7 or Vista 8 it should be 64 bit or 6, 32 bit supported motherboard and you can configure if you have a means you can install and for installation you need to have free space like 200 of space, space free to install and it, instead of it you know to have additional 5 to lmb of free space required to run this desktop somewhere and zimbra and let me show you the link where you can download this is the link where you are going to download the zimbra desktop and let i will show you where you can download about this link with the link so just to open the google and type zimbra after typing the zimbra this is the website the first that's the website came of zimbra website where you can download the zimbra and after opening the website here is the website of this zimbra as you can see on screen uh, this is zimbra and there is the desktop supported download is showing and it's having latest releases that is 7.25 latest releases and it's showing about this uh, windows platform supported this is a windows where you can download this is a file of 92 mb and it's a msi installation and this is a download one if when you click on this one it will be start automatically downloading as you can see this is the download is starting which i have already downloaded and this one is the down one is the linux supported where you can download this linux and this is a 109b and this is a mac os supported you know require java or before it's so you need to installing the mac on uh, with zebra so this is the uh, uh, zimbra about this one uh, let me show you how to install the zimbra and this is my uh, zimbra which i have already downloaded and let me show you just double click on this uh, setup and click on run uh, just click on next and click accept agreement and click on next and just if you want to change the location you can change the location in search of you want to install in other different other different drive means you can install other drive and just by default will install in C drive so click on next and just click on install so here it will take some minutes to complete the installation it's creating the folders and copying these files into that new folders so the installation has been completed as you can see uh, just check this box and click on finish so now it automatically uh, launching this uh, launch the desktop icon uh, here you can see uh, here is the zimbra desktop so it is giving these uh, steps to about this installation or uh, choosing this email provider if you are installing about gmail yahoo or shen server and it's having entire account information showing additionally email 
accounts and the lunch the last one is here after uh, completing these steps it will be lunch stop so when we are going to add a new account uh, as you can see if you have an account in zebra please you can click and fill this information or uh, if you have a gmail yahoo or exchange server so you can go ahead with the account for testing purpose i have created one account in gmail so i will here i will configure in gmail accounts uh, before configuring it is showing some uh, allow configuration to allow imap in your gmail account uh, just click here so you can see on the screen this is step is show telling us to uh, enable this imap before configuring this step so let, let let us do these steps and configure enable this imap uh, let me show you how to configure this enable imap just um, uh, log in to gmail account this is the testing email i have created and just uh, click on this here left side corner of the top bottom and go to settings and here is click on forwarding and pop imap uh, just click on enable imap and here by default uh, it selected this option uh, just do not do anything just click on save the changes and after saving the changes um, just go to this security here by clicking on this above yeah, that is when your g plus google plus after clicking on here uh, go to click on security after clicking on security here is the account permission showing uh, click on settings here is a less secure access application if we enable this one uh, we can uh, it will allow zimbra to configure gmail uh, otherwise we'll get an error uh, that is zimbra is not uh, gmail is not allowing to access zimbra so this should be enabled for just testing purpose i am clicking enable uh, before you if you are installing your professional uh, gmail account means uh, you should be be, be secure and uh, pure so that will configure uh, just click on done after clicking on done uh, and here when you configure you will get a email like uh, somebody is uh, accessing your account like that gmail will send if you are not means uh, just disable this uh, imap and here also settings in your g plus or uh, if you so after enabling this one or uh, just uh, we'll go to the account information and uh, for testing purpose i have created the gmail account this is the search engine and this uh, full name i am giving the clone network and the email address that i am giving search engine and the password i am entering uh, enter the password of gmail uh, after entering uh, this is the message that you will get every if you want uh, manually means you can have manually every minute means every five minutes you want to configure means you can check if you want to check this box for allowing signal is gone calendars means you can check if you want to uh, synchronize our contacts groups you can check if you want to have a login debug enable you can check uh, click on save and uh, proceed wait for few minutes or uh, it is assigning see uh, here is the account I added uh, first you can take the server house to complete uh, depending how much data you have in your account means in your gmail how much you have the mails uh, data files folders or contacts means so it will take uh, several hours to complete this task so if you have a le less means it will just not take a uh, lot more than time if you want to edit means you can have edit if you want to delete means you can delete if you want to reset all those settings we can reset re-index is the option of we can re-index uh, just click on this lunch box lunch and here is or uh, zimbra will be lunch so here is uh, as you can see on the screen uh, this is the mails i am getting uh, which is uh, about this is the mail we have login the testing purpose i have created an account this is login and here is the address book as you can see this is the calendar and this is uh, contacts it we have a calendar any means made anything is there means it will show you uh, task brief preference issue means settings if you want to have any uh, settings changes 
or you can have see this is a click on this mail or uh, you can compose this mail just uh, click on new as a message or contact or address folder uh, then you click on message uh, if you want to send email uh, to uh, any other person means just for testing i'm going to send cloud name gmail id and this is a cc is a subject testing and here you just click on so if you want to attach me you can have attach here so then you can attach and browse this mail contacts is there mean contacts mail is there means you can have emails also uh, click on send after sending uh, you can have a check in a box so it has been sent then you can check this has been sent testing purpose and uh, here is some online means just click on this one you will be back to online and this is the um, mails you can see calendar calendar is there uh, this is the thunderbird zimbra and here is the settings if you want to have settings you can only still the signal if you want to add more accounts uh, just click on add more account go to yahoo means just configure the same thing go to the enable just clicking on this sign up yes now my installation of zimbra how to configure in desktop if you uh, get any problem during installation configuration you can put a comment below to my video uh, thank you for watching my video please subscribe to articlotnet thank you